Cristina Fernandez de Kirchner was greeting supporters outside her home in Argentina when she was confronted with a gun held to her face. The vice president ducked, witnesses screaming. Kirchner was returning from court when the ordeal happened. The former president is a divisive figure in Argentina and is in the midst of a corruption trial. She denies the charges. This is the most serious event we have gone through since Argentina returned to democracy. Cristina remains alive because of a reason that is yet to be confirmed technically. The weapon that had five bullets did not fire despite being triggered. The man holding the gun was grabbed by some of her supporters and detained. He is believed to be a Brazilian in support of the far right. Uh, one of the media organizations without confirmation says that he had swastika. Uh, in a tattoo in his arm. And he's also uh, liked many far right websites, including something called the demoniac uh, uh, evil communism and things like that. In 2018, Brazil's current president, Jair Bolsonaro, was stabbed during an election rally, which boosted his popularity. Something analysts say could happen now for Kirchner. The video shows very clearly a gun against her head. And that's the shock in Argentina society is so huge that that might help her, ironically, to regain some of the popularity that she might have lost among people who do not agree with her. The president has declared Friday a national holiday in defense of democracy, a united response from a government that has seen deepening divisions over its response to another economic crisis, which has seen 70 percent inflation, some of the highest in the world. Leah Harding, Al Jazeera.